Hi, my name is David Bunting. I'm the Director of Cellular and Wireless Product Management at Speedcast. In this presentation, I'll be providing you with an overview of our private LTE solutions, which we are doing in partnership with Nokia Innovations. Let's start with a short introduction to Speedcast. Our industry is undergoing a major transformation. Connectivity is no longer a luxury. It is a necessity. High volume, high quality communications is in demand everywhere. As a result, the satellite industry is undergoing a major transformation driven by the following. Growth in data connectivity needs. Businesses worldwide are becoming more sophisticated thanks to smart devices, IoT, and automation. They're demanding more data to optimize their operations and more applications that can leverage that data. There's also a need for managed services globally. Growing technological complexity requires expert knowledge, increasing demand for tailored services due to higher network complexity and security needs. Customers are buying globally and less regionally. They also, their needs are also continuously changing and there's an increasing demand for professional services on the ground. Furthermore, there's consolidation within and beyond the satellite services. The fragmented satellite services industry is starting to consolidate as a global market with significant opportunities to increase scale and capabilities. And some players diversifying their offers beyond satellite services. There's a faster innovation cycle uh, breakthroughs in satellite design, upcoming 5G connectivity, dynamically reconfigurable networks, cybersecurity antenna, antenna innovation, as well as IoT and big data technologies are amongst these. All this leads to higher customer expectations across every industry. Our customers demand borderless coverage, that is coverage across multiple continents and oceans, limitless bandwidth for increasing bandwidth uh, broadband speeds, on-demand fulfillment, connectivity when you need it and where you need it, a one-service experience, simplified operations with a single solution, pushing innovation with the latest technology and solutions, and ultimately reliability, providing coverage and support for our customers' most critical operations on a 24-7 basis. In Speedcast, we deliver and manage our customer expectations and unmatched service with the help of 1,400 employees spread out across six continents, 240 local field engineers, access to more than 95 satellites in orbit, operating satellite networks out of approximately 40 teleports, and supporting customers in more than 140 countries. Our overall solution to the mining industry is presented in this slide. Our connectivity options, in addition to private LTE, include both fixed VSAT for high-speed connectivity and MSS communications offering a range of portable and satellite comms on the move. For camp morale and recreation use, we have various TV and digital newspaper on-demand options, as well as crew Wi-Fi for recreational use. As you are likely aware, Mining is getting more difficult. Grades are declining. There are environmental considerations, leading to a need for higher precision, efficiency, and safety in all sectors of mining operation. To address many of the considerations highlighted in the previous slide, Speedcast has partnered with Nokia Innovations, an industry leader in remote LTE and emerging 5G technologies. This slide not only indicates the range of customer applications, but also shows the type of customer base with whom both ourselves and Nokia work with. As we go through this presentation, I'll provide insight into the types of applications and the benefits of private LTE deployments. Here we show a quick glance of Nokia's footprint in the mining sector. Together, we at Speedcast and Nokia are addressing the network architecture to allow customers to harness technologies such as industrial internet of things, edge computing, cloud, artificial intelligence, machine learning, augmented and virtual reality, and high performance networking, including 5G, to drive dynamic, 
productivity improvements across a wide range of industrial sectors. With this solution for mining, our customers can create intelligent dynamic networks that increase the safety, productivity, efficiency and responsiveness of their operations. Connect sensors, equipment, vehicle and workers with the highest reliable and security. Getting the ultra-low latencies and response times needed for process automation. Increased network capacity where it is needed to support applications such as digital twins, augmented reality and mind-side video consultations. Boosting efficiencies and productivity by using predictive analysis to manage assets and operations as well as creating value with platforms that apply analytics, sensor and device management, digital operations and machine learning to any mining application. So how does LT compare to other remote wireless connectivity options? When compared to standard Wi-Fi deployments, some of the main elements that differentiate that to a typical LT network are quality of service, coverage area, network capacity, and overall network performance. In terms of QoS, LTE offers, unlike Wi-Fi, several methods of managing traffic, all adhering to 3GPP features. Key among these are guaranteed bitrate, GBR, QoS class identifiers, QCI, this provides up to nine different QoS performance characteristics for each IP packet, as well as preemption to ensure that critical traffic is always passed. On the other hand, Wi-Fi is essentially a best effort QoS function. When it comes to coverage, typical Wi-Fi offers up to 100 meters normally in range. This requiring truck mounted access points to cover a whole pit area Whilst LTE can support a coverage range of 100 meters, even up to 30 kilometers per cell. Capacity is also a limitation for Wi-Fi deployments, particularly when we need to consider the high number of sensors and telematics devices deployed within an operational area. Typically, Wi-Fi can support up to 100 active connections per access point, whilst LTE can support up to 800 connections on a single small cell. Lastly, the number of users on a Wi-Fi network. This creates issues in terms of jitter and latency. However, latency on an LTE network will remain stable at between 8 and 20 milliseconds with increasing numbers of connections. These are some of the reasons that LTE technology is so well positioned to support high capacity data analytics, mobility communications, and optimization in any environment. Here is an example of some of the applications which can be delivered through the introduction of our LTE solution into an open pit mine operation. Asset sensors providing engine telematics, tire pressure, hydraulic levels and pressure, real-time tracking of assets, loading, hauling and drilling data visualization, personnel tracking and people counting, including artificial intelligence for safety. An example of that would be CCTV within restricted areas, providing alerts if a crew member is not wearing a hard hat. Also using all the data generated from sensors and location trackers for predictive analysis. And finally, automation and remote operation systems. In this slide, we further illustrate some of the examples which are enabled through the use of private managed LTE solutions. Monitoring and control of ventilation systems through the monitoring of the air demand and quality tied into the automation of the ventilation systems. Nowhere mobile assets and personnel located at all times. Monitoring movement in real time tied into proximity alerts or geofence alerts to reduce risks. Telematics sensors on assets allowing for predictive maintenance, for example, tire replacements, oil temperature and pressure monitoring, brake system temperatures, and also real-time reporting of all deployed assets for operational reliability. Most real-time data analytics are done at the remote edge computing platform without the need for being backhauled over 
the separate satellite or uh, terrestrial connectivity. Let's close out by identifying some of the specific areas where LTE enables the connected digital mine. As you can see from this slide, there is a need to collect data from an ever-growing number of sources, which due to the number and mobility of these would be difficult to deploy over wide connections or short range low bandwidth Wi-Fi. This makes private LTE an ideal option. From large numbers of connected sensors providing data on machine health, diagnostics, location tracking and monitoring control functions, to real-time video and video analytics, augmented reality, and automation. All this requiring a need for reliable, long-range, high bandwidth, high capacity, and a network with manageable latency. Personnel and asset location tracking is critical for safety. Together with our private LTE solution in partnership with Nokia, a high accuracy indoor or below ground positioning system can also be deployed. This solution increases the positional accuracy normally associated with GPS of between 3 and 10 meters down to tens of centimeters. This high accuracy gives a clear indication and overview of where personnel are at all times during operational activities. Together with Nokia, Speedcast is positioning our customers for the future fully digital mining operation. Our private LTE edge computing together with global satellite and terrestrial MPLS connectivity and SD-WAN capabilities, as well as developments in 5G network components, are all enabling complete pit-to-port operations, optimization, automation and remote guidance applications. We trust that this overview has been helpful for you and should you require any further information, please do not hesitate to click on the chat box option, email me directly or contact your Speedcast account manager. Thank you for your interest and for taking the time to follow this presentation.